Stetson's main source for all student personal information and university tools can be found on your my.stetson page. This portal will also lead you to the course search page where you can look for courses for the upcoming term and ultimately where you will register for your courses. After searching my.stetson.edu, you will find the login page where you can enter your Stetson username and password and select login. This is your My Stetson homepage. It displays different tabs which contain important information and links to resources you may need. The One Stop tab is the main hub for all your registration needs. Once you select the One Stop tab, you will find several drop down menus such as registration, records, financial aid, personal info, and more. The registration tab will allow you to add or drop classes, look up classes, and view your detailed student schedule. To register for a course, you must know the specific course reference number, or CRN. This code is unique to each course and is used during registration. To locate this number, select Look Up Classes under the Registration tab. Once it takes you to the next page, search for your appropriate semester, year, and campus location. Then click Submit. You will then come to a page with a list of subjects for classes. Select the Advanced Search button for more options. Clicking Advanced Search will bring you to a page with detailed lists of categories for classes. For example, you can search for courses by subject, general education requirements, specific instructors, and days and times. When your selections are made, click Class Search to perform the search. Once the list of courses appear, you can locate your desired course and the specific CRN number to use in order to register. When you are selecting a course, pay attention to the dates and time, as well as the column on the left side stating if it is open or closed. If the course has a C listed, it means that the course is currently closed and unavailable for registration. If the course has an empty box, it means that the course is open and may be available for registration. However, there are some exceptions that prevent students from registering for certain open courses such as prerequisite requirements, major reserves, class spanning requirements, etc. For more information on a course, you can click on the CRN number, which will provide you with a more detailed description. Going across the page, there is important information to be aware of for each course. Following the CRN number is the course subject under CRSE and section under SEC. CMP designates which campus the course will be taught at. For instance, D stands for DeLand. CRED shows the number of credits for the course. The name of the course is listed under Title. Days lists the day or days a course will be taught. M is Monday, T is Tuesday, W is Wednesday, R is Thursday, and F is Friday. The time frame for the course is also listed. The meaning of the columns spanning from CAP to WLREM are listed at the top of the course search page. The instructor, dates the course is taught, and the location of the course are listed last, along with any additional general education designations for the course. Once you have found the course or courses in which you would like to register for, select the empty box on the left-hand side for each. Then, at the bottom of the page, select Register. If open and available, your selected courses will appear on your Stetson student schedule, located on your My Stetson homepage. If you already know the CRN number for the course you are trying to register for, you can access the Add or Drop Classes option under the Registration tab. To add the desired course, insert the CRN number for the course at the bottom of the page and select Submit Changes. If registered successfully, the course will appear above as registered. If the course is closed or some requirement prevents you from registering, you are able to put yourself on a waitlist for the desired course by selecting Waitlist and then Submit Changes. The course should then appear above as waitlisted. If those registered in the course choose to drop later on, the first student on the waitlist will receive an email with the option of adding the course within 24 hours, and so forth. Keep in mind, it is important to register for a full load and waitlisted courses do not count until you are actually enrolled in that course. We recommend every student register for 16 credits a semester. If you are already registered for a course in which you wish to drop from your schedule, you can do so on this page as well. 
Select the Drop via Web option on the drop-down menu under Actions, then Submit Changes. This will remove the course from your Steps and Students schedule. Your My Steps and page offers a lot of resources, so it's important to know how to navigate the website. If you need help navigating your My Steps in, please contact Academic Advising. If you are experiencing technical issues with My Steps in, contact the IT Help Desk.